Now in this video, we'll look at the relationship between a forward premium or discount versus the roll yield when we roll short-term forward contracts. Now, of course, uh, in the topic on currency management, there is always a case where you need uh, the portfolio manager will have to hedge their currency risk in a foreign currency denominated security. So before that, let's establish what is a forward premium or discount. So before uh, to start off, we will always uh, refer to the formula for the forward rate. So let's say we are calculating the forward rate for currency A and B. So uh, just, to exp just to first define the denomination. So when you see A and B, uh, this refers to one unit of B. Okay, so uh, basically it's one, one unit of B is equivalent to how many units of A. Okay, so it's, uh, this is how CFA Institute defines uh, the currency uh, pair. So let's say we have currency. So this forward rate F here for A over B is equal to the spot rate A over B. Then we multiply by 1 plus the interest rate of currency A times the tenor of the contract over 1 plus the interest rate for currency B times the tenor. Now in this case, uh, if you want to calculate the forward premium or discount, we will take the difference in the forward rate and the spot rate and then we'll express it as a percentage of the spot rate. So if you substitute this formula into this, uh, this fraction, then we will simplify it and then you will get this. So this form, so basically the forward premium or discount will be dictated by the difference in the interest rate between currency A, which is the price currency, and minus the interest rate of B for currency B, and B here is the base currency. Okay, so B here uh, is our base currency, uh, our base currency, and A is what we call the price currency. Uh, some people may call it a term currency. Right, so the difference in the interest rates will define, okay, the whether it's a forward premium or forward discount currency. Then, of course, we will multiply by T over 1 plus R, the which is the interest rate for currency B times the tenor. Uh, we'll only focus on these two terms in the bracket, right? So let's say if I now focus on the base currency. So if currency B, which is the base currency, is a low yield currency relative to A, so that means the interest rate for B is actually less than the interest rate for currency A. So in that case, if uh, the interest rate is lower, okay, maybe this is a three percent and this is a, let's say five percent for uh, interest for currency A, then of course the forward rate will be greater than the spot rate. So the currency B is set to trade at a forward premium. So if currency B on the other hand is a high yield currency relative to A then uh, we will expect the other case around so the interest rate b here uh, maybe it, it will be six percent okay instead of three versus five percent in the for the interest rate for currency a so in this case the forward rate for a uh, for the forward rate will be less than the spot rate now we can see the impact in this fraction as well so let's say if currency b is a high yield currency at six percent six percent and uh, the interest rate for currency a is five percent so when we calculate RA minus RB, RA minus RB, you will get 5 minus 6%, which is negative 1%. Okay, so that's negative. So when the forward, uh, when this difference is negative, that means it's a forward discount. So the base currency, the base currency is trading at a forward discount. Okay, so just keep in mind that when uh, they tell you that a currency is trading at a forward premium, Okay, uh, that means that currency is a low yield currency. But if they tell you the currency is trading at a forward discount, that means it's a high yield currency. If you're not sure, always write this formula down and then uh, you just have to tell us yourself if it's a forward discount means that the forward rate must be less than the spot rate. So what's going to make the forward rate lower than the spot rate? Definitely the denominator has to be larger than the numerator. That means it must that means uh, currency B must be a higher currency. Okay, now with that in mind, we now move over to uh, the roll yield concept. Now let's say you manage a pound denominated portfolio that invests in US treasuries. And as the portfolio manager, you now decide to hedge the currency risk uh, using a three-month forward contract. Okay, so the three month pound interest rate is lower than the three month US dollar interest rate. All right, so in this case, uh, 
your domestic currency uh, is defined as pound and your foreign currency here would be uh, US Treasury because end of the day whatever you liquidate you will convert back to pound All right so this will be I'll call this FC which is our foreign currency okay and this will be our DC uh, which is pound okay so, uh, so in this case uh, when we want to hedge the currency risk so what do we need to do with the forward contract okay so do we short uh should, do we, should we short pound or should we long pound or should we uh, long us dollar or should we short us dollar now uh if i just use the foreign currency the foreign currency here as my base currency okay i said it, i'll use this as my base currency just to, just for us to focus on so in this case uh when i'm investing in us treasury uh, we basically have a long exposure in US dollar, right? So if I need to hedge, okay, from the fluctuation in dollar and pound, that means I will have to short US dollar, okay? So this exposure comes from the US treasuries, but I'm, I need to hedge this against the fluctuation between dollar and pound. So I will need to short US dollar forward. That means I need to sell US dollar. So if I need to sell US dollar, in other words, it also means that I need to long pound forward, okay, for three months. So that's that's how we establish the, the H. So I need to sell US dollar forward. Now, then we need to also establish, in this case, is US dollar trading at a forward premium or is it trading at a forward discount? So we are told that the interest rate for pound is actually lower than the interest rate for US dollar. Okay, this is the information that we have. So if the dollar rate is higher, I'm going to focus on do US dollar here. So if the US dollar is higher in yield, okay, if the US dollar is higher in yield, that means US dollar is trading at a forward discount. So the forward rate will be less than the spot rate. So if I do H, if I do H, this is how it's going to look like. So the time to settlement will be three months. Okay, and then our forward rate here would be somewhere around this point. Okay, this will be the forward rate for pound to dollar. Okay, it's a, at a forward discount. Okay, so that means uh, US dollar is trading at a forward discount. Right, so that means uh, the forward rate is lower than the spot rate. So you so now in order to implement the hedge, you will sell uh, US dollar forward three months, okay, at this lower rate. So since you sold the US dollar forward, okay, you will hold the contract for three months, okay. So three months later, right before the contract expires, okay, you will close the contract by buying US dollar spot, okay. So to close the contract. So by that time, if you sell something at a lower rate and then you buy it back at a higher rate then you would have made a negative return. So in this case, the roll yield, okay, the roll yield will be negative, okay, because you sold it low and then you buy high, okay, so that, that's where the roll yield will be negative, but this is, so we said that the there is a cost to hedging in this case, okay. Now, of course, if you wanted to benefit, if you want to benefit from this, uh, this, uh, cur this current situation, okay, what you can do is instead of selling forward, you can sell, US, you can actually buy US dollar forward. So in this case, if you were to buy it forward, okay, if you buy the US dollar forward, you buy low and then you hold it until it matures and then you sell US dollar spot here. So when you buy low and sell high, then you will make a positive roll yield. But let's change the story and now let's say you manage a dollar denominated portfolio and that invests in UK guilds or UK government bonds and you decide to hedge the currency risk using 3 month forward contracts. The 3 month pound rate is still lower than the 3 month US dollar interest rate. So now uh, because the domestic currency is defined as the US dollar and the foreign currency will be pound. Okay, and we'll set this as our base currency now. Okay, our base currency. So. Uh, the pound interest rate is lower than the three month US dollar interest rate. So in this case, because the pound the base currency has a lower rate, therefore this will that means pound, okay, that means pound will be trading at a 
forward premium okay so because it's trading at the forward premium therefore the forward rate uh, if I now change it to USD over pound because I want pound to be the base currency so the forward rate will be uh, greater than the spot rate okay so if I hedge now so what do I do so currently because I'm holding UK guilds so I have exposure to pound through the UK guilds so if I want to hedge the currency risk I will have to short pound forward for three months okay I have to sell it so based on the forward premium here so when you draw the graph okay this is time to settlement so the forward premium is higher so you will have an upward sloping curve here so the forward rate is higher than the spot rate okay and bear in mind that uh, just to be clear the forward rate is based on USD over GBP and the spot rate is USD over GBP okay so this is at three months and this is zero which is spot so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell or short pound forward so I'm gonna sell it high and then the contract will then roll okay for three months okay you hold it for three months and then right before uh, it matures we'll close the contract that means here you have to buy pound okay spot to close the contract okay then uh, the difference would be the roll yield so if you sell high and buy low okay you are selling it at a high you're selling high and buying low so that means you will have made a gain okay so that gain there would be a positive positive roll yield okay so that's how we look at it now of course if you ended up uh, buying the pound forward and then you sell the pound uh, at a low then you'll make a loss there right so keep in mind again uh, we have to see whether the currency is trading at a forward premium or discount and then whether are we selling the currency forward or are we buying the currency forward okay so in this hedge uh, we are selling pound forward